Okay, so next up in our JavaScript interview series, we're going to be talking about the unary plus operator and what that effect has on different values. So the challenge here is to come up with what the log values are going to be for each one of these different values, these different operands with the unary plus operator applied to them. So if you want your own copy of this, if you go down in the description, you will find a link to the code gist that has your own copy. And I'll be back in just a minute to talk about the solution. Okay, welcome back. So to do this, we need to understand what exactly the unary plus operator is. This is an operator that will take one single operand and it will try to convert that into a number and it'll do the best job that it possibly can. So in this case, if you take one in quotation marks and try to convert that into a number, just like you would with parse int, you're going to be ending up with a one. When it comes to true, true will also equate to a one. False is going to come back as a zero. And then if you have an empty string, this is a falsy value. And with the falsy value, we're going to be getting the same thing as we did with false. So that will come out as a zero. The last one, well, this already is a number, so it's just going to take the numeric value and that will be our output. And then this last one right here, we've got a string, which worked fine up here when the value inside the string was a number. However, in this case, it's not something that can be converted to a number. So what happens when you try to convert something to a number, which is not a number? You get that as the result, not a number. So if we save that, we jump down into the console and we run this, we're going to see we get these same results. And there they are. All right, so if you have any questions about that, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I will have a full link to the interview question playlist down inside the description as well. And as always, thanks for watching.